September 15, 1916. The bloody Battle of the Somme still raged on. 206,000 British soldiers would lose their lives there. Freddy was commissioned to drive the newest weapon of war, a major progress in a conflict that was literally stuck in the mud. But Baron von Dorf was also counting on this battle to shine in front of his superiors. Right, let's go. So at least we know Carl really wasn't dead. The Mark I tank. Developed in utmost secrecy, tanks gained their name from the British subterfuge to conceal the real purpose from espionage. Official documents instead spoke of a device for transporting water to Russian troops. The first model to roll out, the imaginatively named Mark I, had a huge psychological impact and tanks would soon reach, would reach their destination to find trenches deserted. The Germans, however, soon learned to cope with shortcomings. The vehicles were also unreliable and interior con conditions were horrific. The Battle of the Somme. The British initiated the Battle of the Somme in the aim of drawing the Germans out of Verdun to, to attempt a decisive push. For the first time on September 15, 1916, assault tanks were used in combat. Of the fleet of 49 Mark I tanks, only 18 were optional, or operational and five were untimed, ultimately used. Late November 1916, the Battle of Somme came to an end. All in all, 650,000 German, 420,000 British, and 195,000 troops lost their lives. Apologies for reading the numbers wrong there. I'm quite dyslexic, and reading out long numbers like that does cause me problems. But all in all, an astonishing amount of people losing their lives there. September, October, November, two months of war, of, of, of a battle for one area. I like how the British troops look with their moustaches. Very cool. So how does this stand up against the planes? Okay, so far. I forgot, I can actually fire. What can tanks do? Fire. A little bit higher, maybe. Aim a little bit higher. This is... the art style again, look at it. I can't make the cannon go higher, which is quite infuriating, and I've just killed all the British troops. Well done, me. For God's sake. Well, I can't imagine that this would be any good. I just can't make the, the cannon go any higher. Look at how devastated the, the scenery is around us. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive much longer on this bit. Got it. See, I had to use the little angling there. If only this was Battlefield and I had an engineer. Come on. Brilliant. Well, we've lost the tank. Let's get down here. Oof. Ooh! There we go. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> No more fuses, please. Um, how am I going to do this? Can I get up there? Ooh, no! If I could just get you to... There we go. Do-do-do. Right. Up you go. Let's pick up another grenade, because it's always good to have another grenade on you, even if the storyline doesn't call for it. Oopsie daisy, you could have totally made it up there before. Right. 
Incoming! Have a tasty bite of peach. So hopefully now I can go back up. Take one of these just because. Jeez, look at all that dynamite. Ah, the British have recovered. With my one lone British man. Should we try not to screw this one up? Can I get into this one or am I? Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Let's carry on the assault. And maybe try and not kill so many British troops this time. Go. One. Two. Decidedly harder this time. Three. A little bit on fire, but doing better than last time at least. God, look at the terrain. Here we go. A little bit of rhythm action justice for you. This is for my wife. And this is for the allies. After too many missteps and too many battles lost, Baron von Dorf was demoted and moved far from the front lines. For him, a fate worse than death. January 18th, 1917. Emil, still bedridden, beseeched Anna to travel to San Miel to find his daughter and share the sad news of Carl's death. Anna set off immediately. Maybe all is not lost. What am I saying? So we're on the home front now. 1916. I've been trudging through the countryside for four months now. I'm so hungry, but I can't approach villagers. I did try, but they recognised my accent and I nearly got myself arrested. I must be careful. Willifred saved his life. Nothing from Marie. Emile's morale in the slump today. He hasn't had any news from Victor or Marie in months. It's probably because Sung Mihel has been cut off from the world. I fear the worst. So again, here are all the diary entries. Read it in your own time. I'm just going to flick through it quickly for you. Everyone calls me Lucky Freddy. I think about you every day, sweetheart. I couldn't do it. I had his life in my hands and I couldn't do it. King Liam wouldn't have brought you back and you wouldn't have wanted to see me kill. He wasn't worth it. Nothing's holding me back here now. If I survive this damned war, I'll be heading home. So he thought, so here we go, Emile thought that Freddy and Walt died in the explosion, but it turns out they, they lived and drove back in the tank, so, <laughs> so, 
it's all right. A little bit of sunshine in the darkness. And unfortunately, the misunderstanding here, but hopefully we're about to rectify that. At least I hope so, because I'm crying already. But first, let's save the girl. Winter was harsh for soldiers in the trenches, and troops suffered from the petrol cold and damp, with temperatures often below zero on the Western Front. Many ended up in the infirmary with frostbite, which would ultimately lead to amputation. It was important to keep the feet dry. So I can't do anything there, so I need to see if I can find something. Come on, in here. Maybe I can do it with just a stick. I'll help you, lady. I'm helping you. I just... Come on, come on. There we go. So maybe that will serve as a distraction. Maybe you can aid moi. Really get out of that uniform. You good dog, no. Yeah, I really need to get out of this uniform. Like any uniform would be better than this right now. Can I escape? Ah, speaking of which. Can I get on the horse? No. What uniform am I wearing now then? Nope, no, don't change back. There we go. Nothing to see here, sir. Nothing to see here at all. I don't know what outfit that is. Is it like a baker or something? Just someone's pyjamas? Because wearing pyjamas in this cold probably isn't a good idea. Exhausted. Starving. Carl realized he'd never reach Samuel. His strength fading. Destiny still had one more surprise in store. They were only about 20 miles from Samuel when their hopes were again dashed. Surely we can solve this. We're so close. Yeah. Don't look at me. So you want we need to be a guard to pass. Pay no attention to me. And the fact that I look like an escaped German prisoner. Alright, what's this building? Ah, a guard's uniform. Très magnifique. Up we go. Hide behind the bookcase. Why can't Walt use his distracty powers again? Can I just hit him? No. Do -do -do. There you go. Nothing to see here. I am just your average guard, like all the other French people around here. Don't mind me. Um, anything out here? Now, there was another uniform out on that line I saw. But 
can't do anything about it just yet. So, let's go down into the cellars and see what it was that they had down here. Ah, a emergency banknote. Where did Walt go? Walt? Well, never mind. There was a few things we could have done out here, wasn't there, as um, as uniform guards. So as we run here, there you can see the other uniform we need. Um. Okay. So now we can go in here. What's in here? They're having fun, aren't they? Okay, so I've now changed into a soldier. So presumably I can go over here. Anything, anything nice here? No, so let's go upstairs. Um. Oh, secret knock. Da, 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 da. Da, da. You want wine? Well, I have no wine. What is it with everyone and wine? Um, so let's see if we could get the wine from out here. Hey guys, can I join the party? What's in here, Walt? A French gendarmes. The military police. Gendarme. I always thought that was a beautiful word, gendarme. I'm probably saying it horribly, but... Apologies. They are certainly having a lot of fun back there, aren't they? Oh, wait. You just smashed my wine, dude. That's no fair. Okay, so what if we... Take this wine. Chuck it there. Take some more wine. Go up here. Change into this. Go down here. Um, will you let me pass now? Yes. Go in here. Go up here. This is very complicated. Change back into a French soldier. I don't know why there is a, a dis, uh, disparity between the two uniforms. Knock on the door. Da, 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 da. Have your vin. Vin rouge. Is that it? Let me in. Oops. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, so we're here. Ooh, saucy picture. Postcard of a luscious woman. Sack of bran. Of course they were popular. Um. So what was all that about? I am in this room. I do not see what I'm meant to do in this room. Um, oh, change into the... Right, everyone respects me now. Even though I'm covered in... red wine. So can I go over here now? To get the wheel. You would have thought if they respect me enough because I'm a high enough rank that they'd uh, help me carry the wheel to my car. God damn it. And here we are. Ta da! Oh, 
Bernard Madame, le bâtard, le bâtard